It already completed return plan by a small, respected Rock County College is drawing attention across the country. The plan builds in the possibility of our health emergency continuing. Tony Galley reports on its critical feature. Our planning around the fall is planning for maximizing flexibility and minimizing disruption. And 1,200 student Beloit College's provost, Eric Boynton, says that means splitting the first semester into two, less classes, shorter time frame modules. Let's say COVID burns through the summer and that first module, we may need to go online for that first module, but then it runs itself, runs its course. We can bring people to campus during the second module about two a day, I'm talking to provosts around the nation, asking me how we did it and what the plan was and how it looks. And the provost believes Beloit's small liberal arts one-to-one -one feel can be maintained. And then you engage your students in a Zoom form with maybe six or eight students to talk about the lecture that everyone watched. Student Kat Kritzgevich is skeptical. After being online the last month, following years of rich campus experiences in sports, in studies. But she says her college is providing the resources and effort. So if I'm at home and I just don't feel like I want to go to my class, if I don't want to go to my Zoom class, if I don't want to participate in the blog post, that's on me. The scale of UW makes it unlikely it will adopt Beloit College's modular instruction approach, but UW's chancellor is looking beyond instruction in the fall, saying the availability of virus testing will be key to determining whether this campus will be on site or online. Tony Galley, 27 News.